What does that cost on the market if you're selling? The hypothermia pump costs uh, on the on commercially about thirty-five thousand dollars. The rapid infuser is much less. It's about twenty thousand, and the military pays less than that. The, the government, if you ever dealt with the government, as you might have done, <laughs> the government's the most favored customer, always, always. You can't even get the, the government contracts. Another thing, You've got a, it's one hundred and fifty pages, and they don't want to negotiate every little thing. You know, no slave labor, no child labor, pricing, sterilization. They want that all written down. You're not going to negotiate that each time. Crazy. Are about off site. They're salespeople, they're salespeople, there's clinical specialists, uh, and actually our sales managers. And this coil, and, and there's a, the set, the single use set goes in here. I don't have one installed. So the single use set is here, and this coil is, is an AC electromagnetic field. So it's an AC field, and it's like a transformer, like one part of a transformer. It induces currents in the set. You can probably see one in some, someone, someone's, someone's, someone's testing. We can see one over there. Uh, and then it, it, we sense the temperature with an infrared sensor at the input and the output. You've got to have a substantial inventory. And at the same time, you want a life. Ours are, every, all our sets have been certified at three years. How do we do that? We accelerate it with heat. And then we, we've done some testing in real time where we go ahead and test them, make sure that they're still, they still that the pressure transducer that, that, that pushes against the tubing, the tubing didn't get all hard and rigid in three years, etc. So you have to, we verify all that, and so, so all of these are going to have three year expiration dates, and you can see it says 2017 430. So they were built in April. We got a contract to develop something that paid for our initial uh, development. And, and we were working on a device called an intraortic balloon pump. It's a cardiac assist device. We never made the big money, which is the balloons, the single-use balloon catheter. And the intraortic balloon is not like the uh, angioplasty balloon. The angioplasty balloon is a tiny thing that goes inside the coronary arteries. The intraortic balloon goes in the aorta, and it's 40 cc, 40 ml. You can visualize 40 ml. So, and it inflates and deflates every single heartbeat synchronously with the heart. So we made a device to do that. And, and there are other manufacturers. We thought we had the best device. And, but we never made the, um, the intraoric balloon, so we sold it through major medical devices.